Hi, it's Teacher Judy, and I wanted to chat with you about the Three Little Piggies game. We chose the Three Little Piggies game because it is very good at helping children develop spatial awareness. Spatial awareness is being aware of where your body is in space and where your body is in relation to other objects and to other people. When your children go to school, they're going to need to have spatial awareness to be able to follow a lot of the directions that they receive within the school setting. For one thing, when children are standing in line or walking in line, which is how they move from one place to another within the school setting, they need to know what it means to stand behind another person rather than walking along beside a person. And they also need to know how to judge their space from the person that's in front of them so they're not stepping on that person's heels as they're walking in the line to get from one place to another. They also need to be aware of the person behind them and how they need to walk at a pace so that the person behind them doesn't walk into them. Another thing that spatial awareness helps with in the school setting is where the child is at and how to get to other places in the school that they need to go. An important one is where is the bathroom at in relation to where their classroom is? And how do they get to the bathroom? And how do they get back to their classroom? Other places that they may need to go to in the school building is the cafeteria, the playground, the library, the office. And to know where those places are in the school building and where they're at, what they have to do to get to that place, all of that involves spatial awareness. When children are learning to read, they need to know that we start at the top of the page and we read to the bottom of the page. We start at the left side and we read the words across the page to the right. Then we have to sweep down to the next line and once again read from the left to the right. And that is something that is repeated over and over as they read each sentence on the page and are trying to get a smooth reading fluency going on that. In regards to letter identification, when the children are reading, they do need to recognize whether a letter is a U or an N, or whether the letter is a B or a D or a P or a Q. And all of those things require the child to have spatial awareness to know which direction is the letter pointing and where is the letter spaced in regards to the handwriting lines that are often used in especially beginning primary text? Is the letter set lower than the other letters in the word? Does the letter stand taller than the other letters in the word? That would be the difference between knowing whether the word is bay with the letter standing tall or pay with the letter standing low. So all of those things require a spatial awareness for the child to be able to identify the letters and then by identifying the letter, knowing what sound the letter makes so that they can decode the word and read smoothly and quickly and fluently. When it comes to handwriting, spatial awareness is important because a child needs to know where to place the pencil onto the paper in order to make the letter that he wants to write. They also need to know how hard to press on the pencil to make the pencil write dark enough to be able to see it. 
When a child is forming letters, the teacher often gives directions like start at the top line, go a straight line down to the bottom line, bounce up to the middle, go around to the bottom line and close. And that's a lowercase b, which is written very differently than start at the middle line, make a big line down below the line, go back up to the middle line, and go around to close. And that is how you make a lowercase p. So knowing where the pencil is at Knowing the directions up, down, left, right, above, top, bottom, below, middle, all of those are going to be key phrases as your child learns to write their letters of the alphabet. In addition to these school skills, having spatial awareness is important if you're child likes to participate in sports or in games and activities when a child is playing a game that involves a ball they need to know how fast that ball is moving towards them in order to be able to catch it or in order to be able to kick it they need to know whether the ball is going to be high and in the air or whether the ball is going to be low and on the ground. They also need to know their space if they're playing a game that involves tagging other children. How close do they have to be to that child in order to be able to reach out and tag them for tag, you're it, which is a game that a lot of children like to play. And one last place where spatial awareness can help in the school setting is when the child is in the cafeteria and they're trying to serve food from the salad bar. They have to be able to use their serving tongs and be able to reach in, use the serving tongs to pinch the salad greens and Close the tongs tight enough that the salad greens aren't dropping all the way from the serving bar to their plate where they're trying to put the food in order to not make a mess all over the floor. All of these activities require spatial awareness. We hope that you enjoy your Three Little Piggies game and have a good time playing it with your child.